Hello everybody and welcome back to Arjun's channel. My today's review is going to be on the last book of this series, Percy Jackson and the Last Olympian. So in this series, I, there's the five books, Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief, the Sea of Monsters, the Titan's Curse, and the Battle of the Labyrinth. So my, my fifth book review is going to be in this video. So, like I have said in all of my book review videos, that I always like adventurous, thrilling books, and this book is another of one of them war books. Like in the Battle of the Labyrinth, I've said that there's a big war at the end. And here, there's an even bigger war in the end. And then, like, all the gods, like, give Percy Jackson, uh, they, they just say that you can uh, ask one thing, and then we'll just grant you that wish. And they literally swear on the river sticks. It's like a big, um, it's a river of the, um, it's, it's the river of the underworld. And uh, if you like swear on it, then if you don't keep that uh, promise, if you don't keep that oath, then you literally die. But like slowly, it's like a slowly death. <laughs> so um, in this book, it starts with a, a chapter called go cruising with explosives so what he does in this book uh there's a camper one of his friends beckendorf that uh, he and percy they uh they go to they go to like blow up a ship full of monsters they it, the ship had like a lot of monsters in them so like um it starts with like the end of the world started when a pegasus landed on the hood of my car this is a little weird. This is actually a very uh, weird start. I don't know if I would like it or not, but I'm not going to tell you anything about it. I'm just going to just go to the main thing where it starts, the blowing up thing. Start. Yeah, here. So Beckendorf says, you know what to do? He, uh, so if I haven't told you about Blackjack, 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 uh, he's actually a Pegasus. A Pegasus is like a flying horse, and uh, Blackjack is Percy's very big, very very good friend. So over here, um, they both are on Blackjack, and they're going to the ship with explosives, and they're gonna blow it up. And then uh, they go, and then Beckendorf tells Percy, you know what to do. And then uh, Percy says, Percy nods. Uh, that's like. Yes, he knows. And then they go, and when they land on the ship, uh, they start sneakily going to the in engine room. Beckendorf says he'll uh, arm all the explosives, and Percy has to lure all the monsters away. And then I'm just going to not tell you what happens. So first of all, Beckendorf has a girlfriend at camp, and she really likes Beckendorf, and... Uh, that the thing is, Beckendorf doesn't make it out of the ship. The ship blows away, and he doesn't come. So after that, uh, her his girlfriend's name is Selena Burgord something. I don't remember. I don't know how to like pronounce her uh, last name. So uh, Selena, she's the girlfriend of Beckendorf, and um, she literally starts crying when she finds out the news but then the only good thing that happens is that um percy makes it out and the whole ship is blown up so that's the good thing and then even and chronos i have told you uh, about chronos in my previous reviews so chronos is like the father of the gods big three and he he was literally returning and he was in that ship so um, these guys, Percy and Beckendorf, literally blow up the ship, but Kronos can't be destroyed that fast. So Kronos makes it to Olympus, but in the end, in the war, in the end, um, they literally, uh, Kronos is like, we will destroy them, Kronos roared. So what happens? Kronos attacks Olympus while all the gods are busy trying to de defeat another very big enemy of theirs. And that enemy is Typhon. 
Now, if I tell you about Typhon, he is literally the worst and biggest and most powerful monster in the whole wide world. He, he, Typhon literally came so close to defeating all the gods very quickly. But then, the, okay, yeah, I'm not telling you why they won, because you're not going to read the book. Okay, so this is how much I'm going to tell you about my review. Over here, they've given a summary, a little bit fun summary. Most people get presents on their 16th birthday. I get a prophecy that could save the save or destroy the world. Oh my, it happens when you're a son of Poseidon, god of the sea. According to an ancient prophecy, I turn 16 and the fate of the entire world is on me. With no pressure. So, it's like... Percy, the only person who can defend or destroy uh, Olympus, is a is a son or daughter of the big three gods, which is uh, Zeus, Hades, and Poseidon. So Percy is a son of Poseidon, which is why he can either destroy or preserve um, Olympus. So this is my summary for the last book. And I have one more thing to say, which is my next uh, book review is going to be on the next series of Percy Jackson, which is The Heroes of Olympus. And the first book in The Heroes of Olympus is The Lost Hero. The second book is The Son of Neptune. The third is The Mark of Athena. The fourth is The House of Hades. And the fifth is The Blood of Olympus. So all of these books are just like the Percy Jackson series. And they are all just as thrilling. And I would highly recommend these books to you. So I'm, the last thing I need to say is that I'm not going to be doing the book review in my next um, video. I'm, every, t every time a series ends, a series like this, I'm going to be doing one piano video, well maybe sometimes two or three, but um, this time I'm doing one, and then um, I'm going to be starting this series. So um, my next video is going to be on a piano, then this video, then this, 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 and then a few more pianos. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you like my, ch like my videos and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.